On the 20th of June 2018, the European Union Parliament will be voting on Article 13, which is officially being introduced to support reinforcing copyright laws and address copyright infringements more effectively. However, we are being warned that passing of this legislation will spell apocalyptic disaster for freedom of the Internet and freedom of speech, as it will enable the governments to strictly monitor every content uploaded onto the Internet, everything we write, say and publish, screening it through supposed copyright filters, which are already nicknamed censorship machines. This would give the governments, as well as giant tech companies, even more control over the flow of information and our internet activity, and a tool more powerful than they've ever had to censor us and prevent any content their pre-programmed algorithms would consider as striking in their legislation from ever showing up on the internet. Put simply, the new Directive Article 13, which is a proposed plan on copyright infringement, is so sweeping in its ability to censor almost all forms of media, it would make even the most hardened propaganda minister of Oceania blush. The EU is currently planning on implementing laws that force all content being uploaded to platforms on the net to pass through a content filter that determines whether or not it is violating any kind of possible copyright on the planet. Article 13 mandates that all content uploaded to the internet be monitored and potentially deleted if likeness to existing copyrighted material can be detected. Now remember, these are machines making these decisions. If the filter detects possible copyright infringing content, the user trying to post said content will have to pay a tax to get his material posted online. That also includes people posting links to other sites. Article 13 simply threatens everything you do on the internet. Moreover, the directive totally disregards the existence of the concept of fair use. Online platforms will be required to implement complex and expensive filtering systems and will be held liable for copyright infringement, potentially incurring fines that threaten their economic viability and will most certainly destroy small to mid-sized companies that cannot bear the cost to implement such filters and will most certainly destroy any possible new companies by raising the bar of entrance and economically restricting access to the market, which is a big win for the big tech companies. Article 13 threatens personal blogs, gamer live streams, video producers, discussion platforms like Reddit and 4chan, even Facebook. Sharing of memes, parodies, remixes, and even the ability to link. This video you're watching right now would probably be pretty much impossible to make as I would have to pay to link to any and all sources, whether I used visuals in a fair use context or not. Disturbingly, these new filters would also allow copyright holders or even entire countries to literally block any and all content from certain sites or even theoretically certain people. Think on how YouTube has some content that is area specific that they can filter out. And if you want to watch that, you'll need VPN access. I, for example, can never watch Saturday Night Live sketches where I live. Now imagine if this was applied to the entire internet. Also, you can most certainly say goodbye to VPNs as the filters would most likely be tasked to detect this kind of behavior and simply turn off the tap from the source side. Now, you might say, wait, this doesn't matter to me. I'm not living in Europe, so let these people that have allowed this Marxist bureaucratic nightmare known as the EU metastasize and let them lie in the bed of their own making. My fellow Leafs will probably say that our gelded and pathologically tearfully apologetic Justin has been saving a special costume for a day such as this and will most likely explain that if the EU destroys the open internet, Canadians win and many will swoon over his hair and believe him. But they'd be wrong to believe him because you and nobody else will be able to escape this. The EU with over a half billion people within its borders and an economy roughly the same size as the US, well, companies and publishers will simply refuse to lose potential access to this lucrative market and will be made to follow this new directive and it will most likely be applied globally. 
As far as I can tell, this is just another move in a Chinese-esque attempt to force some kind of global control system over the internet regardless of laws and politics at the local and national level. People are waking up on many levels to the control mechanisms implemented by not only the state but also over the levers of culture and consumption and this does not bode well for our overlords. The obvious next step will be for all people to have to have a personal ID to access the internet and of course, this will all be done for our safety and protection. There is simply no way that large tech companies, if they've not already been seriously compromised by governments, which we know most of them have, will not now be tasked to bring about even more controls and censorship and it will all be wrapped in the guise of protecting freedom, of course. And this, the next phase, is here with Article 13. I myself foresee only a decade at most of a mostly free and open internet if there is no significant pushback starting now. Whether a creator or a consumer or even a former substitute drama teacher that still likes to play dress up, everyone who uses the internet will be affected by this law. If you are within the EU, contact your member of the European Parliament or MEP and strike the alarm. And what everyone both inside and outside the EU can do would be to alert friends, family members, subscribers, followers, anyone and everyone about this latest and naked push to seize control of the internet. Now is the time if there ever was one. We're calling all the prayer intercessors of this ministry and all the believers in Yahushua the Messiah, Jesus Christ around the world to keep this urgently in your prayers. Pray that the legislation will not be passed and that this apostolic, prophetic, end-time ministry of a mighty wind that is leading souls to Yahushua HaMashiach in over 50 languages from all around the world, including many countries of the European Union, will not be silenced, hindered or in any other way affected by this grave assault on the freedom of speech by the governments of the land. Pray that the people in Europe and all over the world will as long as possible continue to have unlimited access to the truth proclaimed by this holy last chance ministry of Yahweh God and other holy evangelical ministries and ministers as well as media outlets exposing the truth to the public. For all the citizens of European Union watching, please contact your local representative to the European Parliament demanding them to take action and vote no in the upcoming voting. Please visit saveyourinternet.eu where you can find ready-to-use contact forms to any EU country European Parliament member for emailing, tweeting, as well as phone calling. And do all you can to raise a voice of protest. We know that if they are allowed to take the first step in taking our freedoms away, they will surely seek to move further and further to strip us from our rights and access to the free speech completely until all that is left for us is lying propaganda of the mainstream media working for the agenda of their evil masters.